here we have a Pioneer CT520 tape deck that I got off eBay for £15, which is quite a good deal. And it has some issues, as we'd expect, for £15. So let's take a look and see what's wrong with it. Let's take a close look. This is an early production run, I think, 0457, and it's in pretty good condition, except that the belts, which are not original, have, uh, have totally seized up. If you look inside there, you'll see the belt is a gooey, disgusting mess. And someone at some point replaced this belt with a rubber band. So we're going to just try and clear that out first. And then see how we go from there. Okay, so there's the tape deck. Let's have a look now. We want to get the mechanism out. So. That shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard at all. Let's see. The other thing wrong with this machine is it has a broken button well it's not broken it's just the plastic is broken inside so it's not sitting at the right level as the others so we'll have to address that as well let's take off the cassette carriage cover and uh, see how we go so i think the faceplate has to come off because the faceplate is covering a screw which we need to get out. I've opened these decks quite a lot. It's one of my favorite cassette decks from the 80s for personal reasons and um, whenever I see one of these that needs a bit of attention and I, and I can not spend too much getting one, I, I grab one because they're great decks. They sound good and they don't they don't need much work to get going again, as far as I can tell, as long as it hasn't been corroded inside. But every story is different, right? And there's one thing I miss about modern stuff. This has got a service hatch underneath, which is very useful, whereas a lot of modern things don't. So you can actually work on the motherboard without taking out the whole cabinet, taking out the whole board. So here's a screw. Is that for the mechanism? Uh, no, it's not. Actually, that one can stay in. All right, let's take off the face plate. Okay, one, two, alrighty. Oh, oopsie. So these all tend to come off together. The face plate, the plastic cover, and of course the Okay. I'll take out the broken button for now and continue. So in here there are I see this is is this broken? No. <coughs> see one screw there it definitely must come out. Shall take that one out to start. Try and get that up a bit. Oh Oopsie, sorry. Let's see what I can do here. Hopefully it's focused. Right. Okay, so that's a little golden screw coming out there. Um, that's definitely another screw here. Take 
do that. Oh, take that out some way. Here we are. Um, hmm. Time to remove. There's definitely one there. So how many have I taken out? Three so far. Three. Is there a fourth? And if so, where? Where is the fourth? That side's free. Must be that one. Okay. Let's take that one out. Oh, it's the other way around. Only crying. And the moonlight came through me, only crying. Oh, that's so stuck. And the heartbeats came through me, only crying. Oops. Some button spillage. That's alright for now. That can come out as well. Right. Huh. Where is the fifth screw? Feels like it wants to come out. Am I missing something? No, that's not screwed in. That's not screwed in. Uh, maybe it just needs to be ejected. Ah. Oh. That's it. That's another one there, I think. No, it's not. It's not. Let's have a look here. Where am I? What am I missing here? It's a crying shame. Plastic from the missing button. Put that to one side. You can see the splooge here. You can see the splooge here, the, the rubberized splooge. Which is quite disgusting. Let me get a wipe quickly. something inappropriate inside of itself. I'll just smoosh this in for now. They're not gonna, not gonna make any difference to anybody. It's like a tar. It doesn't really um, go away too much. But at the same time, it doesn't really do anything. It almost doesn't interfere with the, the workings. Who cares, right? Pioneer motor, oh, it's the original motor, that's unusual. I think the later ones had senior motors. 4th of August 1981. Oh wow, okay. That is a timepiece. Hey, look at that. 4th of August 1981. Okay, so we've got a couple of belts. We've got the counter belt. And we've got the main belt, which you can see there is absolutely disintegrated. And this belt here. So let's see if we can get those out. So what's quite handy here is I've got a box for all the spare bits, which I'm going to use in a minute because I'm never going to finish this in one afternoon. And an industrial size bottle of acetone which I'm now going to open 
and take a wow that's heavy huh. take a little bit of this acetone on this q-tip or as I used to say earbud and the reason I'm using acetone is I used to use isopropyl alcohol but then I realized when I went on to Mr. Google that acetone is a very good dissolver of rubber so I thought why stuff around with isopropyl alcohol if I'm going to buy alcohol I'm going to drink it like a good whiskey so I'll use this instead to clean out the schmeckers, as we call it, of the rubber belt. So yeah, I'm just getting in there into that groove like Madonna. And just giving it a good old clean. I'm going to wash that goop right out of my hair. I'm going to wash that goop right out of my hair. Oh. Look at that. It's coming off a lot better than than um, the alternative, which is um, alcohol that's not dissolved. This 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 acetone, not perfect because it once it gets in your skin, it kind of stays in there. So it comes off on its own. Oh yeah, we must mustn't forget to clean this part. This is pretty important. I wonder if I have a spare spindle. Let me see if I've got a spare. What I didn't tell you is that I earlier prepared some spares I had. And they are pristine. Well, pristine is a strong word. Pristine is a strong word. They're better. Okay? That's another one I've got in stock. Let's give it a quick clean. I have another one of these tape decks that I actually repurposed for, I rebuilt it into a media player and I changed all the guts inside for code, not Cody, for Volumio and that's another project I need to show but right now I'm just going to show you trying to fix this tape deck. If I can't fix this tape deck, then I will be making it also into a Volumio deck. But let's just... Hmm. Which way was it now? Was it this way? Or that way? No, I think it was... It would have been this way, I think. Okay, not perfect, but better. If there's a bit of black in the grooves there, it doesn't matter. It's not in a place where it's going to affect the machine's operation. It doesn't have to be beautiful, it just has to work. I'm not that type of a perfectionist. And this is something I'm doing from scratch. Let's just do that. Now this is still picking out a lot of muck. Look at that. And that's on the other one. Right. Now, let's get another... Rotor. I've got another one. This is the one that was in the machine. And here's one I prepared earlier. So this is, the newer versions obviously were totally sprayed, which is kind of nice. I'll keep that other one as a spare for the next machine. It's kind of nice to have a spare from another version. I'll just give this a nice clean, as one always should do for these things. Looks a hell of a lot better already. And let's pop that in here. If we may, a bit of luck. Get the wires out the way. We don't really want those in the way. I have the power. You see that it's coming through on the other side? Yep, yep, that's fine. Um, there's the belt. Um, yeah, that's all good. 
That's all good. That's looking quite clean now, actually. If you look now at that, you'll see. It's looking pretty damn clean compared to what was here before. Uh, and the other one also much cleaner. Let's see if we can put this motor back on to where it should be, which should be here. Um, and let's get the belts which I have here. One belt. I have a whole bag of spares here. Belt. There's another belt. Yeah, this tape that uses three belts. Okay. And again, let's get that a bit of a clean. Clean, Uno clean, Dos clean, Tre clean. Alright, let's zoom out again. There we go. Uh, think it, you think. I'm just going to pop it loosely around there for now. This is going to be the tricky part because I have to get these belts back on the correct. Parts, so I'll just sort of line them in there loosely for now, if you like. Probably never going to work like that, but hey, I will try. I'll try. We'll try. So let it sit in there just quietly like that for now. And then this one, the same thing. Uh, yeah. Mm. I always remember acetone as being very pungent, but this acetone is not, doesn't really have any smell. Maybe pure acetone doesn't have a smell, that's interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Just try and get all these blooming wires out the way because they are menace in this project. Absolute menace. Dennis, you menace. Snip that wire. It's kind of, it's kind of getting on my, getting in my way here. Um, there we go. Oh, okay, right. Just take the. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There it is. Okay. I just want to get this side in first. It's the wire to. Too fiddly on the other side for my liking.
Okay. No wires pinched. And yes, I know I've pulled these a little bit apart, but when I screw it together, I'll pull it back together. It shouldn't make any difference to the mechanism. Make a big difference to my hands there. Okay, too. So this belt must go on after the other belt. So the first belt that must connect is the big belt. Alright, so we try and connect this belt by putting them around there, I guess. And that twisted. Uh, okay. It's still twisted. It's not going to sound very good if it's twisted. It's very hard to do. I haven't got my surgical tools here with me in the house. But let me just try that again. See if I can get that right this time. Let's see what that is. That looking better? Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, good. And then the other one, which is here. through this way maybe. Sorry, I don't know if you can see all this. It's kind of tricky. Okay, so that belt is nowhere near where it should be. However, however, let's see if we can get this uh, to, to sit better. I'm going to support the belt by holding it against the, the one drum and I'm going to... It's not a drum, it's just a thing. Hmm, I see it there. I'm going to be cheeky and use this. It's not sharp, it shouldn't break it. It might, but it shouldn't. Now we've got this thing over here. Square belt. I'm gonna see if I can get him in there. I believe it is in. Let's see if I can put this uh, put the screws back in and see how we go. Yeah. Now when I'm putting it back together here, I'm gonna make very sure that the screws are lined up here properly because this is kind of key. Get my amazing magnetic screwdriver here. Yeah, not that amazing. Slightly amazing. I'm trying to remember where you really should sit properly. So it's tapped in sort of. There was no screw there. There is a screw here. Which I'm going to tap in here. The motor still might need some work, it might be a bit of rigor mortis in the motor, but we'll check that out afterwards. So we've got one, two, three. Fourth one going in, I just want to make sure that wires are getting caught or pinched under it, which they are not, according to this thing. And the fourth one I can make tight because because there's no wires. As far as I can tell, there's no wires there. Been caught or pinched, and now uh, it's fine. It is clear. It looks like it's right. It looks right to me. It really does. It really does. So, now we just need to put the solenoid back in, which was here. And this connected. Did I put this in? Oh, I hope I didn't. But maybe I did, I don't know. Oh dear. Did I put that in wrong? I think I did. Ay, 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 ay. Uh, 
Raising it always away. This should be on this side, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, let me fix that. <laughs> That's the problem with these mechanisms. You open them up and you think, oh, I did a good job. And then 10 seconds later, you realize you put something in the wrong place. And you've got to undo exactly the good stuff you just did. Anyway, so be it, right? So be it. <clears throat> I'm going to try and be cheeky here, if I can, somehow. Try and... Oh, no, 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 no. Not that cheeky. Let's go in over there. Damn it all. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Promising, promising. There we go. Good. Okay. Who said spit wasn't useful for something? fault of these tape decks to have bad belts but not much else but in my experience has gone wrong with these occasionally the motors fail does it say if it's a clockwise or counterclockwise I don't know sometimes the motor can't control its speed oh yeah okay now we've got to put this guy in the little solenoid guy He fits Yeah, there's only holes in one side so he fits in like this through this little doohickey here and back into there I believe see if the holes line up the way they should 
Yeah, they do. I need one of those jewelers um, goggles things that they look through to to do these because that would be really useful on these very small things. Oh God, these very small things that uh, tend to need screwing in from time to time. Cat seems to be having some kind of an embolism in the background about something. Probably wants to go lay eggs or something. There we go. Just give me one screw in here. Give me one more screw. One more screw. One more screw. Okay, let's leave it. I'll do that rather. That might be easier to do it like that. And like that. Good, good contact back there like that. Contact! Contact! Oh, yeah, looking very encouraging. Looking very encouraging, I say, I say, I say. Oh, Mr. Balderdash! Ugh. Don't over tighten. Don't under tighten. Okay. This is, this is obviously the, the main driving this must be the main driving goodie because if you look at the heads and I pull that servo where is it? This is the uh, solenoid, sorry yeah, the heads are going up, down, up, down, up, down so that you kind of need, that's an important one the other thing I can do here while it's out here is I can give the um, give the heads a bit of a clean. I know it's cheeky, but it's all I've got to hand. And something is better than nothing, I was always told. Okay. I've got better things to clean, but this is just an initial clean that spider in there. Now I've got another belt because this has a counter belt that isn't so good. Uh, so we can just take that off for a second. Will that come off? Yep, it will come off. Give that a clean. And this belt is, is crummy. Let's take that one out and put this one in rather. It's slightly better I think. Slightly better, yeah. And let's give these goodies in here a clean while we're here. So let's just turn it upright so you can see it nicely. Right, and get my cleaning juice. It's acetone. I should probably use alcohol, but who cares? Right. Let's see if I can clean this little rubber in here. This rubber transmits um, to the forward and reverse motor uh, spindles so we kind of want that to be nice I'm just going to give the, uh, the pinch roller a bit of a clean I don't know if acetone is better or worse than alcohol but it seems to be doing a pretty dang good job if you ask me um, hell yeah let me give this a bit of a clean this is the the motor cover thingy. Do that. Oh, it's got some major hours, some staining on here from from where the belt lay for quite a while. I see a bit of oil or grease. I'm going to leave that alone. It doesn't look too bad. I think this deck is quite a high hours deck. I don't think it was. I don't think it was too forgotten. It was used until quite recently so I suspect the mechanics are quite um, strong on it still. Let's just see how much. No man, don't bend it the wrong way idiot. So 
so I'm just talking to myself. One, these plastic tips are obviously quite sensitive, so don't don't push them too hard, don't push them too much. There we go. All right, let's have a look. This is yeah, it's definitely making contact with that. Let's put this back into the machine, I guess. See what we can do with it. Okay. This cable's a bit tangle wangled now. But this button we gotta fix it. It's kinda broken there. But it glue will fix that up in no time. So here's another quick look at this. The belts are in. I'm not sure if it's going to be alright, but we're going to try it. This is what the faceplate looks like off. You can see I've cleaned up all the heads and things. It's looking good. I'm just going to try and fix this button quickly. Okay. But let's put these buttons back on as well. Because we don't need to worry too much about anything on those buttons. Well, the two guns heating up. Oops, no, that's the wrong one for there, that's the right one for there. And this one, let's see if we can put that in here. Oh, no, that goes, I'm sorry. This is not correct. La Duma! Yes. That seems like the right place for that. Let's just take that goodie and put that there. So we put the button in the right place. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Now the glue gun story. How am I going to get the glue in there? I'm going to try a cheeky repair. Try to do it from this side and just drop a little bit of glue in on the button as it. Well, if you can see it there, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh, excuse me. No bulging capacitors, which is good. Because this stuff, when you switched it off, it was off. Right? Let's see if I can get my hands clean while I'm waiting for the glue gun to warm up. Vault. Let's have a look see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I hear a helicopter outside. They must be looking for me again. Oh, it actually smells quite hectic. I hope there's no hochos in this thing. It's not impossible either. Right. What's also nice about these is because it's a sealed unit, not a lot of dirt gets inside. Some does. But not enough to, to get excited about. Okay, let's check the glue gun. I don't want the glue gun, glue, gun, glue to be too runny, so this might just be what I need. It's got a nice little nozzle here at the top. I'm just going to drop it onto the nozzle. That's literally all I want to do, just drop that glue on the top. Not onto the bottom. Let's take the glue off that. Hot glue definitely has its uses. In this modern world of ours, it's a little bit runnier than I'd like. Try and pull it off before it gets too sticky on everything else. Looking promising. Well, that's all the best to get the level. 
the glue of all the things it shouldn't have gone on. <laughs> glue. Oh, that's too much now. Alright, but we'll leave it like that for now. You can always pull extra hot glue off if you need to, right? Or you could just pull all of it off by accident. Alright, fine. I'm going to try this slightly differently now. Try to do this from the front. Put the glue in the place it's supposed to be rather. Drop it on. Drop it in. Right there. Maybe that's enough. This is more, right? This is more. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see, I think, over there, I've just dropped a bit of hot glue in there where the switch connects. And hot glue can actually be amazing for fixing this kind of stuff sometimes. It really can. Not always perfect, but in this case, good enough. It's just for the normal and highest position, so you actually want to have a bit to be normal, normal more than high. Okay. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. And I'll put the face plate back on with a bit of luck. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about cleaning anything. One thing you must never do is clean these things with abrasive chemicals so that sh that I've learned the hard way I once tried to clean someone's record with acetone and let's just say hmm wasn't a good uh, a good outcome I'm just giving this a light clean it's not it's not going to be the showcase of my stereo it's just a bit of fun right I actually have about four of these decks already because I just like it so much. Maybe I could give this a little clean just before I put it back on top of the machine because it's easier to get around the corners with the panel off. So let's just have a look and see what we can do here. So there we go. Da, 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 da. I'm glad it's all over. Well, well, I'm glad it's all over.
Okay, there we go. Slightly better, not perfect, but slightly better. Click. It's a gratifying sound. Now if I turn the thing, you'll see that's turning. That's working. Well, it's it's making connection. I'll assume it's working until I find it isn't working. Well, it's looking like a pretty good uh, investment for what I spent. So we give that a clean. No, no, what, 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 what? An error has occurred in your program. What happened? Did it, did it crash? No, that's teenagers. You're officially a teenager, son. You're officially a teenager. What's it saying? May Israel have your problems. Okay, right. Now, we have got some screws in here. As you say in Afrikaans, we've got some scurufis. I think that was one there. Welcome to the old screwing channel. We'll just screw stuff together and take it apart. Screw it in together and take it apart again because that's how we roll here in Screw Central. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay. I hope this new wide angle lens is inside is delivering the goods. Um, oh, they were no, it's just clipped in on the top. So, what the heck? I've got three mystery screws. Oh dear, that's never good. Where on earth are the three mystery screws from? Hmm. This actually is in nice condition, this part of the machine. Should sound better than with a rubber band in it. Pardon moi. I like the clean lines of this and the fact it's all square. It's all nice. Makes me happy. I'm just trying to think what those other three screws were for. What have I forgotten? What have I forgotten is the big question. It's a jungle out there. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oops, what the hell is that? Some junk. Okay, so. Tape is screwed in. Why do I have three more screws than I should have? It's always like that, isn't it? Always the way. Always have more screws than you thought you had in the beginning. This is interesting. There's a little thing there. I mean, all of these screws are in. All the screws that were supposed to be in are in. Where did I, where did I miss something? Oh, well, it's together. How can I miss three screws? Did they come from somewhere else? Ah, I do see one missing. Okay, I do see one missing. Over there. There was definitely a screw in here. But is this the right screw? No, it's not the right screw. I do know there was a screw there, definitely. So, here, 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 where does that screw go? Oh, where does the screw go? Is it, should I just screw it in? I don't know. Should be much the same. I don't think it's going to obstruct Jesus anything there. Jesus, Ronaldo! <laughs> <laughs> it's Ronaldo Bollocks. Why is he Bollocks? Doesn't sound very hygienic. Huh. Okay. Take your word for it, buddy. Okay, we've got two missing screws. Where, where else would they be? They'd be in here. I don't think so. 
but I don't want to just put them nowhere. In case I need them. So let me just pop these in here for now. I'm sure these go somewhere else, but it's going in without a fight. So let's just do that for now. We could always reset these later. You're watching your sprites? As they say on. Listening to your magical sprites. Let's just check these fuses. Hey, dust. Dust is the world's enemy. Let's see, what's this? Bridge rectifier, what are these? Power transistors. Alright. I don't see anything bad here, so we're good. We're golden. Let's, uh, let's pop the top on it for now and we can check it out. Maybe tomorrow we can check out the, uh, the the end result if it's working or not. You never know, right? Might just work. Probably need further calibration, but at least we've got something a little bit more useful. Let's just close that up. I have to get used to working with the camera. And I'm fixing things at the same time, but I'm always fixing things, so why the hell not, right? <laughs> I'm forever fixing things. I could operate on the cat if I could, but anyway. No, I wouldn't. You know what I mean. I love that cat, that damn fine cat. say I'm not particularly invested in this in, in any major financial way so it doesn't really matter to me if it will succeed or not although I would like to feel like I fixed it because that's kind of why I did this video not that I need another tape deck I must have like 50 of the damn things okay there we go from that I'm pleased about that button you can see someone actually chipped off the whole front of it I don't have a spare of those. Very nice, gratifying click. That's doing what it should. The heads are much better. Um, okay, we need to just uh, change this plug a little bit. So let's do that quickly. Okay, this is how the baby transfers uh, on Sunday morning, the 29th of January, 2023. This tape deck from 1981, um, I guess, based on the motor's uh, manufacture date, is now um, ready to be tested. It's the one you saw me, it's the one on top, obviously. Uh, let's switch it on. Okay, that's off to a good start. Um, there's no smoke, there's no fire. I can hear the motor running. But that's probably okay. I think the motor always runs in these designs. I'm going to play five seconds or something. And uh, let's see if it actually plays. The button is, is holding nice. It's, it's, it's secure. It won't come out. There's Dolby. Music search, which is really nice. Let's do play. And hear what it sounds like. Let's push music search and push forward. And let's see if we can get to the next track. <laughs> maybe not <laughs> or maybe it takes a long time oh there he goes oh great okay it works very nice I, I think I've forgotten how long it takes to search between tracks so yeah you know there it is there it is everybody a working pioneer CT520 now you may ask, why do I like? Okay, so I'm not uh, particularly averse to Bette Midler, but I'm not a huge Bette Midler fan. I just think she's quite cool. Uh, okay, so going to look at this now. Um, what was I saying? Oh, why do I like these tape decks? Well, it's very simple. They're easy to fix. They're not too many layers to put apart. The mechanism, you know, 
four or five screws you can open up the mechanism quite decently and you can get to the bits you need and um, it's quite serviceable this mechanism which I like um, and it's a, it's a good deck it's a, a good deck it's it's a good recorder it's a good player not that I really record to be honest it has two LEDs which are kind of cool there's one there and one I think there which won't light up now because the tape is not um, a recordable tape just a nice good solid performer you know um, I would advise against getting belts from in, in bulk from China because they generally don't produce the right results the belts I used were from a, a, a company in Portugal that does the belts per item so you buy belts for a CT550 or whatever it is and that's because I find if you use the wrong belt and it's too tight then obviously the speed's going to be wrong and then you're going to have to recalibrate everything whereas if the belt has the right tension and the electronics are still good and the motor is still good it should just work as it is yes i could tweak the speed i don't feel the need to um but obviously you know this is a nice deck a very basic deck i do like the blue fluoro scan i have the entire um i have well this makes it number four four of these decks yeah, I've got four of these decks now, and I've got the matching fluoroscan system that goes with this. I just love the Pioneer stuff from the 80s. It was always very desirable, and also it wasn't beyond affordability. It wasn't the cheapest, but it certainly was very, certainly in South Africa, Pioneer was the business. Um, there was a very popular music sensor called the Pioneer Rondo 3000. I don't know if it was marketed worldwide like that, but that was the go-to music center. And although it was a music center, it, it really did sound pretty damn good. Um, and always left me feeling that I'd bought the wrong one because I think when I was a kid, I got like a, a Masonic, I think it was, music center. Uh, and it was very nice, but it never had the fidelity of the Pioneer, although it did look nicer, but hey-ho. So there it is, um, Pioneer CT520, um, repaired, back in service. I have a lot of tape decks, more than I'll ever need, but I do like tape decks. I think that's just because it was from the era I remember the most. And I love anything that is Pioneer generally, but... Uh, um, the tape decks are just are just good fun. The reel to reels are fantastic if you can get one. Um, I'll take it over an Akai. I'll take it over a Sansui, unless it's the high end Sansui stuff. Um, but there you go. There you go. Thank you very much for watching Howard of AV Transfers UK. Uh, that's the full uh, full video for today on the Pioneer CT520. I've got another CT520 here which is a machine that I retrofitted. Um, I stripped the internals and made it into a media player. So it is a fully Wi-Fi enabled um, Volumia player that does Spotify and all that type of thing. And that's something I'll definitely show you in another video. Um, a great fun project to build, quite a lot of work, um, but nevertheless something I, I enjoyed and maybe you'll enjoy the video too. But for now, ciao for now.